Hey, I'm Michael Murphy and I'm a supervisor at HHM CPAs. And I'm talking to you a little bit today about applying for an initial contractor's license. There are several things you want to consider and good planning that needs to be done before applying. First, consider the bid limit that you will need. You'll want to receive a contract limit that is sufficient for your current needs, but also for jobs that may arise in the future. This way, if you have an unexpected opportunity to bid on a larger contract, you will not need to rush at the last minute and apply for an increase in your contractor's limit. Closely related to this first point, you will need to know how to have sufficient net worth and working capital in your business in order to qualify for the limit that you need. Tennessee calculates the contract limit based on the 10 times the lesser of net worth and working capital. Other states calculate those differently, but they will also be based on net worth and working capital. So you should always be aware of those financial statement requirements for your state. If you're interested in this topic, check out the other related videos on our YouTube channel.